Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss 2.A from motion in a straight line as per new textbook. A ball is dropped from a height of 90 meter on the floor. At each collision with the floor, the ball loses one tenth of its speed. Plot speed time graph of its motion between t is equal to 0 to 12 seconds. Here the height given is 90 meter. That is also we can take like displacement or that is also we can take like position x. Here the situation roughly if you are taking this is the flow. The board is dropped like this. Its initial speed is 0. It is dropped from height 90 meter. Here it is reaching point uh, A suppose it will acquire some velocity while reaching the ground. After that it is losing one tenth part of the velocity and it will rebounds while it is bouncing back suppose say at point B here the speed at B will be smaller than speed at A so the height reached by this one will be not 90 meter it will be less than 90 meter And uh, from here it reaches to C. And again from C its speed is 0 and again fall down. Suppose say it reaches point D. Now this is the situation. So the velocities at A and B will differ but at B and D will remain same and the height between height of BC is equal to height of CD. This one we will draw in the form of velocity time graph or speed time graph. Sorry, speed time graph, not velocity time graph, speed time graph. Now, it is falling from 90 meter. We can use the equation how much time it will take to reach point P. Suppose say S or X is equal to UT plus half AT square. Here, initial velocity is 0 plus half into 9.8 into t square that value is 90. From this t is equal to 2 times of 90 divided by 9.8 square root of it is 30 divided by 7 it is nearly 4.3 seconds. It will take to reach the bottom is 4.3 seconds. Right. Now, so what is the velocity while it is reaching at point A? It is V is equal to U plus AT from this 0 plus a is nothing but G. I am taking that is 9.8. 9.8 into 30 divided by 7. Its value is nearly 42 meters per second. So the speed while it is reaching 
पॉइंट ए इज फोर्टी टू एंड इन दिस केस इफ यू ऑब्जर्व फ्रॉम द सेम वेलास्टी इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू टाइम सो वेलास्टी इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू टाइम I am taking the graph speed versus time graph. Be careful; it is not velocity versus time. It is speed versus time. V in terms of meters per second. It is time in terms of second. So initially, it is origin. In the case of freely falling body, the velocity increases linearly. V is directly proportional to time. so it will comes like this like this it is point a so what is its speed its speed is 42 meters per second now whenever it is reaching a it will collide with the ground and it will loses 1/10th part of the speed so i am taking it is 1 while coming to part 2 at first collision the speed Lost by the ball is equal to one by ten of forty-two. That is nothing but four point two meters per second. Then what is the speed at point B whenever it is bouncing back? Velocity at B is equal to Forty-two minus four point two. This value is thirty-seven point eight meters per second. That means it will graph will come vertically downwards, such that it is thirty-seven point eight meters per second. Now. Again, what is the time taken here? How much time it will take to travel from B to C? So the time taken to travel between B to C is equal to we have v velocity divided by acceleration. There is no but acceleration. Due to gravity, that is thirty-seven point eight divided by nine point eight. It is nearly three point nine seconds. It will take. So, for the first one here, this time will be to reach the bottom. It is taking the time. Four point three seconds. It is four point three seconds. But uh, when the ball is moving from B to C, whenever it is reaching the maximum height, it is taking the time three point nine seconds. So three point nine seconds means the total time here will be becomes four point three plus three point nine. This one will give us eight point two seconds. From starting onwards, after eight point two seconds, the speed is zero. The ball is reaching C. So I am drawing this one. Like this. This is eight point. 2 seconds here 
the speed is 0 and again what will happen its speed falls down here sorry the speed at c will be 0 here and again falling from c to d it will take same time that is 3.9 seconds itself the time between to travel from C to D is equal to time between B to C is nothing but 3.9 seconds only. Now, therefore, the total time taken from O to D is equal to we have 4.3 plus 3.9 plus 3.9. So, this total time will be 12.1 second. But here, our limit is given from t is equal to 0 to 12 seconds only. Then what will happen? The velocity or the speed is increasing from C to D while it is reaching the ground. So, here what is the time it takes means nearly that is C point C can assume it is point D. This value is nearly 12 point one second. Here we are ignoring a drag. So, this is the answers. Between time t is equal to 0 to 12 second, the speed time graph of a body which is falling from 90 meter height. So, it will undergoes one time collision here between a and b. After that, again it is, while it is reaching the point D, it will take 12.1 second. Beyond that, we don't want to discuss anything. This is the solution as per the given data. Thank you.